We have 18 days until the primary election, the primary election that didn't have to be, but is. So today's video with the 18-day countdown and the governor testing positive for a COVID infection is, is this primary election really necessary? I mean, let's look at the environment we're in. We have 18 days, the governor's positive, a number of schools have been shut down already just a week or so into the school year because students are testing positive. We have the hospitals readjusting their visit their uh, patient visiting policies because of the increasing numbers of people coming down with COVID infections. Last week, I think we had 52 people coming down with an infection, one in ICU. Businesses are being impacted as customers and employees are testing positive for the COVID infection. And last month in July, Senators Jim Moylan and Therese Terlahi put forward a bipartisan bill to protect the lives of the citizens of Guam while at the same time strengthening democracy. With Bill 375 to cancel the primary election in view of the fact there's hardly any real contest, senators were basically asked a question. Do you think the lives of the people of Guam are more important than party politics? Let's hear how they voted. Madam Clerk, roll call please. Senator Castro. Senator Castro, nay. Senator Lee. Senator Lee, nay. Senator Marsh Titano. Aye. Senator Marsh Titano, nay. Senator Moylan. Aye. Senator Moylan, aye. Senator Munya. Senator Munya, nay. Speaker Munya Barnes. Aye. Speaker Munya Barnes, nay. Vice Speaker Nelson. Vice Speaker Nelson, Excused. Senator Perez. Senator Perez, nay. Senator Rajel. Senator Rajel, nay. Senator San Augustine. No. Senator San Augustine, nay. Senator Shelton. Ahi. Senator Shelton, nay. Senator Tidegui. Aye. Senator Tidegui, aye. Senator Pito Terlahi. Senator Pito Terlahi, nay. Senator Therese Terlahi. Ungen. Senator Therese Terlahi, aye. Senator Torres. Ungen. Senator Torres, aye. Colleagues, Bill number 375-35 COR received four ayes, 10 nays, and one excuse absence. Bill number 375-35 COR fell by this body. Right now, the existing crew of politicians has brought Guam to the brink of the financial cliff even before the COVID infection hit. And as we have seen with uh, politically well-connected insiders getting the bulk of the special non-bid contracts issued, diverting millions of dollars away from serving the people to serving those loyal to the politically well-connected insiders, the people have suffered. So the only way to prevent Guam from going over the financial cliff that Puerto Rico went over in 2016 is to change the people who are setting the course. We have a chance between now and August 29th to elect new public servants to change the direction we go from here. Starting with, and what's so funny, the whole reason we're even having this primary election is so that the Democrat Party, who is still so upset with Mike Sinicholas for swearing loyalty to the people of Guam over swearing loyalty to the Democrat Party, that they have pushed ahead with this useless primary election 
just to have a chance to replace public server Mike Sinicholas with a politically well-connected insider of their own choosing. And I say a needless risk because even Robert Underwood didn't even declare his candidacy till about 96 hours before the deadline. That shows how little thought that was put into his campaign other than the need for revenge. We don't need to reward the de Democrats or Robert Underwood for their pettiness. So, for those of you voting in the Democrat primary, obviously Mike Sinicholas at the congressional delegate level would be the first choice. And a lot of people who have wanted to vote for me and for Mike, I encourage you to go and vote on the Democrat primary and vote for Mike, because all the Democrat senators and candidates and all the Republican senator candidates are going to advance to the general election. So if you're inclined to vote for me, also vote for Mike Sinicholas, but only vote on the Democrat side. Don't spoil your ballot and vote for Mike, Sin N Mike Sinicholas. Let's teach political party leaders and politicians that they ignore the people at their own risk. So here's the recommend list for the Democrat side. Incumbents, Therese Terlahi and Talena Nelson. And new candidates, Frank Leon Guerrero, Fred Berdalio, Frank Menno, John Ananich, David Duenas, and Chris Carrillo, and for public auditor, Benjamin Cruz. This list will most likely change before the general election, but for the primary election, we want to vote for two incumbents, Therese and Talena, and all the new Democrats to teach incumbent party politic, politicians a lesson. On the Republican side, there are three incumbents that will go on to the general, but we need to support them anyway. So those of us who are voting on the Republican side, vote for James Moylan, Hello Tidegui, Mary Camacho Torres, and new candidates, Dominic Hernandez, and of course me, Joaquin V. Leon Guerrero, also known as Ken Leon Guerrero, Vince Borja, Don Equiline, Michelle Armenta, Sandra Rachel Seal, and J.I. Cruz. The only, only returning senator that I recommend we vote for is Frank Bloss because he did not vote for the pay raises. Tony Atta and Chris Duenas who both fought for the pay raises and Joanne Brown, who was a beneficiary of the pay raises and testified to keep them in place. Those three have already proven they're more loyal to themselves and politically well-connected insiders than they are the people of Guam. They will advance to the general. I can't stop that, and neither can you. But we can not vote for them and put them down at the bottom so that they too learn that you ignore serving the people at your own risk. And I'm encouraging everybody to follow the example of all the politicians, including Robert Underwood, who have called and made appointments to vote safely at the Guam Election Commission offices. Because by voting at the Guam Election Commission offices, you can call 477-9791 and make an appointment so that when you get there, you're in and out with minimal risk in a matter of 15 to 20 minutes. There's also drive up curbs voting for senior citizens and people with disabilities. But take the lesson from the politicians who decided to put your life, your, your grandparents' life, your parents' life, your children's life, or people with chronic illnesses, put their lives at risk and do what they do, not as they say. Because they're telling you to go vote in the primary on the 29th, 
but they themselves are all voting in the uh, by appointment at the Guam Election Commission. I encourage you to do the same. The life you save may belong to your grandparents, your parents, your children, or family members who have chronic diseases like cancer, heart disease, high blood pressure, or diabetes. I'm Ken Leon Guerrero, Joaquin Leon Guerrero, number four on the Republican ballot, and I'm encouraging you to call today and vote. And together, we will change the direction this island is taking and prevent our government from going over the financial cliff close behind Puerto Rico.